At the final share deadline, you submitted the second file you manipulated, which now has three numbers in descending order, like www.vvuu.tif, where www and vv represent numbers higher than yours. Remember the underscores wherever there are spaces in good file naming convention. You won't hear me read them aloud in this demo. You uploaded this to the exquisite corpse share folder your instructor created and linked for you in your learning management system. Let's get our final files to remix. Which file do you retrieve this time? You look for a file with three numbers, the first of which is your number. If you are number 03, you are looking for a file named 03, 02, 01.tif. If this confuses you, consult with the instructor by email and they'll solve the mystery. Find the correct file and download it. Now, it's time to remix. Turn all the layers on and get rid of the layer masks on A and B by selecting them, right-clicking and choosing Delete Layer Mask. Now, when you first do this, the file is a terrible, unresolved mess. Because people have been working blind to the majority of what was on your original layer, it's quite possible you may not even see your original work. But we have ways to resolve this horror show into a coherent and intuitive composition. How? There are several tools in Photoshop that allow the information spread among all the layers to interact. You can use new layer masks, opacity changes, blending modes, filters, adjustment layers and other compositing tools to generate well-crafted layer relationships. We'll look at these in a second, but first a few rules. 1. You may not perform destructive editing actions, no erasers, select and deletions, or the like. 2. You may not throw on a layer mask that obscures a whole layer. That equals erasing. 3. You may not perform a 0% opacity on a layer. That also equals erasing. Finally, you may not use a blending mode that completely obscures image information in a layer. This, too, equals erasing. In other words, you are required to engage and resolve all layers with your original image, even if you only use a portion of each one. But you'll find those rules won't inhibit you because the tools we have to reconcile the layers are so cool you'll be amazed at their results. Let's look at a simple one. Opacity change. Select a layer and use the opacity slider to reveal information below. This is cool, but sometimes it leads to dull images, especially with contrasting colors overlapping. So let's up the opacity and move on to another tool. Blending modes. Blending modes are absolute pixel witchcraft. They allow pixel information from layers below to migrate up through higher layers. There are many to choose from and we'll encourage you to play with each one to see how they work. Once you play with blending modes, you'll always be looking for an excuse to use them. Let's move on to filters. Use the menu, filter, filter gallery, as a quick tool to access all the filters to try them out. The other cool thing about the filter gallery is it provides fast access to the parameter sliders that can customize a filter in ways that may be more interesting than the default settings. Photoshop pros can spot these filters as the lazy toys they can sometimes be. Don't fall into that newbie trap. Take a bit more time and tweak the default in the filter gallery. Here I'm applying the distort, glass effect, then messing with the distortion, smoothness, and scaling values, then hitting OK. Adjustment layers are next, and they help balance contrast, solve color conflicts, and perform color manipulation effects in a non-destructive way. Remember to toggle the effects all layers below icon in the palette for the adjustment layer. You can choose to affect all layers below the adjustment, or just the one layer right below it. These tools are a great way to become familiar with advanced Photoshop play. Spend some time experimenting with them and discovering what they can do, then use whatever you like to create a resolved composition out of the collaboration layers in this file. When done, save the file keeping the numbers for the file name and save it up to your UUX Corpse share folder to back it up. On your working drive, save a duplicate of the file, keeping the numbers for the file name, but adding the prefix 20xx, last name, xcorps, where 20xx is the year and last name is your name. Say you are number 09 and you have moderated a file named 090807.tif, so rename it to 20xx, last name, xcorps, 090807.tif. Next, save a copy of this file as a JPG. Save both of these files to your O4X Corpse folder in the cloud to back them up. We are nearly done. You have the Remix JPG in your root XCorpse folder, but you want to pair it up with the original prepared to share file there, also. So, 
Go into your UUX Corp history folder and find UUX Corp's 308x9.jpg. Duplicate this file out to the root folder, renaming this copy to match convention for the Remix file name. 20xx, last name, xcorps, uu.jpg. Post both of these JPG files to your blog in a single reflective post, and upload them to the exquisite corpse shared folder linked in your learning management system. Do this by the final project deadline. Congratulations! Collaboration is not easy, and in fact can counterintuitively be much harder than working alone. But surprising and very interesting results can arise from collaboration, which probably explains the massive uptick of collaborative work in modern fine art and design processes we've witnessed in the digital age. With the cloud and the tools that we share, collaboration, while never easy, is better accommodated than at any time in history, which is why we can successfully do this kind of project in a fully online studio.